to the Vinnie Training Centre. Today we want to talk about a product called Rubbercon. It's a, a temporary coating. So basically it's a rubber coating. It can be used for an awful lot of different applications. In a lot of cases it can be used near the automobile and things for spraying wheels, complete car resprays, whatever you want. The idea being you can change the colour of your vehicle and then if you don't like it or you want to change about a year later or two years later, you can simply peel the paint off. So it just comes away, it's rubber based. Uh, it can be used with very little preparation, very easy to use. And we'll just run through using the product and some of the ideas that it can be used for. It has endless um, applications really. Um, with steel hand tools it is quite handy for insulating and for grip. And also for colour coding or marking tools um, for ownership of tools or, or whatever. Okay, we'll just run through spraying this 30 uh, mil combination spanner. All we need to do is we need some pre-cleaner and we need a lint-free cloth which will soak and pre-cleaner. We'll rub uh, any oil or grease that might be on the spanner off which will give us good, uh, good service to paint. Then what we'll do is we'll mask off the areas that we don't want to paint. Okay, we're about to uh, spray this spanner. The reason for doing that is we want to uh, give it a nice grip um, and it's a good insulator. Come the winter time, you know, it'll help keep the, the heat in the spanner a little bit better anyway. Like with all sprays, always use a good respirator. This particular one is a 3M mask, 6941. Uh, and also always, even though you're wearing a mask, spray in a well ventilated area. Okay. Normally when you spray something you need to leave it till the following day uh, and then you can take the masking off and uh, you're good to use your spanner. So it's grand, it looks actually quite good. Um, as I say it'll insulate it uh, against the cold to a certain degree anyway and it'll make it uh, non-slip which is good, and as I said before, it's a good way of marking tools and equipment. Uh, we mentioned before that you can just peel off the colour. Um, okay, I say it, it is good, strong, but as I say, we don't like it anymore. So all we need to do is dig our nails in, and we can simply set the peel away. It's like skin. It's important when you are spraying it to give it three to four coats, the more paint you put on, the easier it'll peel away. If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.